What's up everybody? This is Nick and today I'm going to talk to you about the epidemic that is sexual harassment as well as Andy Sigmore. Sexual harassment is a major problem. It plagues nearly every industry, if not every industry. It affects restaurants, it affects politics, it affects Hollywood. Sexual harassment is in the tech industry and in academia. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. There are laws uh, criminalizing as well as defining sexual harassment in Pakistan, the United States, and all across Latin America. In Pakistan, the National Assembly stated, quote, Sexual harassment is one of the biggest hurdles faced by working men and women, preventing many from working to get themselves and their families out of poverty. What is the extent of this problem, though? Well, on October 15, 2017, women took to social media and hashtag MeToo, yelling to the world that they too had been sexually harassed or assaulted. In the first 24 hours, 650,000 Me Too tweets were tweeted, clearly demonstrating that this is a problem. Okay, well, you've probably heard by now about the Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. The thing is, Harvey Weinstein isn't the only one. Something else you may not have heard about was Andy Sigmore from Screen Junkies was fired for sexual harassment. Andy Sigmore was the host of Movie Fights. He was one of the writers on Honest Trailers and he was the founder of Screen Junkies. This shocked me because I felt like I knew who he was. I met him last year at Wizard World Chicago. I had a chat with him. I talked to him about the new Ghostbusters movie. He enjoyed it. I took a selfie with him. I've watched him on YouTube many times. I felt like I knew who he was, but apparently I was wrong. He was a serial sexual harasser and Screen Junkies fired him for it. But Andy isn't the only sexual harasser out there and we need to do something about it. We, as men, we need to call out sexual harassment when we see it. And not just sexual harassment, we need to call out sexual objectification when we see it. We need to call out degrading comments that are made about women. We owe it to the women in our lives. We owe it to 50% of the human race. Thank you. Have a good night.